rain that we saw yesterday and definitely some good amounts of moisture that we saw. Minot, 37 hundredths of an inch to Williston, none. So nobody saw rain in the far northwestern corner of the state. We turn to Kildeer, 67 hundredths, Garrison, a third of an inch, Bowman, two tenths of an inch. So definitely some good, healthy numbers that we were seeing. Now we have traded the rain for a whole lot of wind. In fact, you can see the trees blown here. The camera shaking in Dickinson. Definitely a cloudy sky. I actually really like this scene though because look how green that grass is. We go to Minot. A few more peaks of that blue sky. Camera still shaking. 41 mile per hour gust there to 28 mile per hour gust in Bismarck. What the key takeaway is we will see some stronger winds along Highway 85 than Highway 83. Highway 85 currently has a wind advisory and that is for Williams County like in Williston. Uh, this did go in effect at noon and it will stay with us through 8 o'clock this evening for the potential of wind gusts up to 45 miles per hour. But please remember, Garrison's already seen gusts of 47 miles per hour, so we're still going to see some outliers from that. But make sure, you know, it's lawn chair season time where you're starting to put it out. You probably want to make sure that's secure because we're going to have quite a few windy days ahead of us. And today, again, no exception. We'll also bring in a couple of spotty showers. I haven't seen anything roll in yet from the Canadian border, but just do know along with the wind through tonight, through Thursday and through Friday, we could bring in a couple of of snow showers. They'll likely stay in the form of flurries, but if you are located in Botno County in the Turtle Mountains, there's a chance of maybe seeing an inch of snow. Highs tomorrow also turn to the upper 30s to near 40 degrees, so we're seeing the drop in temperatures because of that continuous northwest wind. Look at the snow over by Belcourt, Lake Metagoshi to the east of Moha. Definitely some light snow, and even by Williston, we could see some of that. But we have now seeing that bigger story become the winds. Typically, April is our windiest month of the year. Just because it is a change in seasons, that's what happens with our jet stream. We're seeing a pattern change. And so the next 72 hours or so will be uh, no exception to that. Look at the snapshot here for winds come Thursday morning, early afternoon. 40 mile per hour wind gusts for everyone. So I actually think tomorrow is going to be windier than today for the whole state. Those winds continue as we roll right into our Friday afternoon, 35 mile per hour gusts and highs. A lot of us will be in the upper 30s at that point. So the winds will finally subside as we reach right into our Saturday and Sunday, finally bring in a little bit more sun and just overall better. Next week is looking really good with highs near 60. Tonight, Krista, we fall back to those 20s with our seven day forecast staying in the 20s for a couple of nights in the overnight hours. But look where we go for next week. A nice rebound. It's just going to take its time. Yeah. Yeah, that is quite the quite the ways away that we are from last weekend where we had beautiful sunshine days to a couple days of wind, rain and everything in between. If I could only whip out the magic crystal ball, right, to discover when our next 80 degree day would be. Yes. That's fantastic. As far as that goes for the time being, I don't see it anytime soon, though. All right. We'll take 60 on Tuesday, though. Oh, I will take that. <laughs> Thanks so much, Heidi. Yep.